it is too late to block entry of foreign headsmen into Nigeria. Different bodies have been calling on the federal government to block the entry of foreign headsmen into the country due to increasing threat to life and property of Nigerian citizens. Among them are the Federal House of Representatives, the Ministry of Interior, Rauf Aregbeshola, who briefing media on last week's activities of his ministry, also disclosed plans to adopt stringent measures to manage the borders and check the affiltration of armed bandits into the country, lamenting that our borders are too porous and Southern and Middle Belt leaders forum, SMBLF and Governor of Kano State, Abdullahi Ganduje, called on the federal government to revoke the ECOWAS protocol on the free movement of people with specific reference to the foreign headers who are forcefully settling on people's land. The SMBLF urged the federal government to mobilize state agencies to flush them out, together with other elements out of our forest, to allow farmers to safely return to their farm. This group said that nomadism should be abolished, that it is outdated and also a source of bloodshed, sorrows and ethnic unrest. The group, however, advised the state to embrace livestock agriculture in addition to land cultivation. Contrary to President Buhari's purported visa policy, agenda granting the free visa designed to improve the business environment attracts foreign direct investments, boosts terrorism, without compromising national security and an attempt to increase African integration and freer movement among its major economic powers. These arrangements have never yielded any positive impact in the country, rather perpetration of different kind of evil in the country like bloodshed, rape and banditry posing a great threat to the national security. Many questions were asked why a country that has kept its borders closed against our citizens involved in foreign trade should then open the same border for some African citizens to enter freely with their own trade and ammunition. This policy portrayed an act of mistaken kindness and a misplaced sense of priority, considering the security challenges in the country. With this policy, but without proper scrutiny, documentation and monitoring, any manner of persons will find his or her way into the country. Hence, what Nigeria is experiencing today as bandits, headsmen and already existing Boko people terrorists, on hearing the news about the new visa policy, many groups like Southwest PDP members, National Security Strategy, NSS, Senate ETC aired their views in various national dailies, condemning the free visa policy and urged the government to work according to NSS arrangement. The Senate also expected the matter to be brought to them for proper amendments, documentation and domestication. All these groups pointed at the security challenges in the country as an issue to be considered by the government regarding free visa policy. But contrary to their views, the Kamtrula General of Nigerian Immigration Service, NIS, Mohamed Baban Dedi, said that 
the new visa policy would not compromise our national security. Rather, they would adopt a high level of professionalism to ensure our security is guaranteed. The question is, has he lived up to the expectation as promised? The African integration aspect of the visa policy has been achieved with Fulani headers as ubiquitous as spiders causing mayhem in the country. And why has the borders remained so porous for the infiltration of headsmen with arms? So, in my humble opinion, I think the recent clamor to close the border against the headers is too late because they have gained ground, assuming much rights and influence due to our wishy washy complacency. The government should have weighed the risk against the gain before making such a hasty promise in Egypt. Secondly, the Nigerian Immigration Service could not properly manage our borders in form of proper documentation and surveillance. It would be difficult picking some foreigners out from the crowd as their mode of dressing have changed coupled with high level of corruption among the village heads who accommodate illegal immigrants. Inconsistent policies do not foster development, having deviated from the National Security Strategy NSS to check terrorism through border closure and at the same time introducing free visa policy, contradict government position on security. How do you reconcile the new visa policy of free entry and the fight against terrorism? Does it strike a balance? Therefore, the fight for terrorism and banditry continues until government revokes some of its policies that are inimical to public safety and puts stringent measures in force. Thank you for listening to this news. Yeah, that's true. It's very, very late. Very, very late. See, that's one, one, very, one, one very bad thing about the Nigerian government. They are always in a haste to take decision. And, and, it, and it keeps affecting them. See, and see, and um, one, uh, it, it, it's, it's also affecting the uh the 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 media the media sector as well in nigeria informations yes they say is wealth when you get an information don't be in a haste to 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 start acting on that information what you need to do is collect that information go through it weigh it shift it Pick out the, the 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 important part of that information. Okay, then make your findings proper findings about the select the selected informations before acting on them. Don't always be in a hurry to act on information because you may end up um, acting on the wrong side you may end up fighting at the wrong side you see now closing the border against these people is very late they have already in nigeria and as they are in nigeria believe you me the crime that the crime will not increase no wonder we keep experiencing increase in a in in a increase in the level of insecurity in nigeria why as a result of our carelessness, our carelessness is what has is what has caused that is what have caused this. Our carelessness. These people are already in Nigeria. They are they they, they have been mixed with the northern Fulanese, so there is no way you can be able to detect or find them. So, my viewers, please 
do well to uh, to leave your own contributions over this statement because your opinions are of great importance. Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.